There's been a lot of discussion over many years as to where we might find the next silver bullet in relation to road safety, following on from drug and alcohol detection technology, seat belts, and quite obviously collision warning systems are, in the eyes of the road safety fraternity, the next silver bullet in road safety. And for this new technology to have been developed here at La Trobe University uh, in conjunction with the Victorian government and the automotive industry, I think is a great step forward for Victoria and road safety here in Victoria. We know that we have somewhere in the order of uh, 1,100 crossings around the state that have only either stop signs or give, uh, give way signs. Last year we had uh, 17 collisions involving trains and cars. This type of technology has the ability to do away with fatalities and serious accidents at level crossings. Uh, these trials have been conducted uh, here at Hyatt, there's one at Cheltenham and there's another one on the Swan Hill line. And the information that's been gathered from the work that's been conducted by La Trobe University is going to inform road safety experts around the world in terms of how we can use uh, the technology in collision warning systems to also include warning systems from train to car. And that's what that trial is about here in Victoria. I'd like to thank and congratulate the people at La Trobe University for the work that they've done with a great interest in road safety. Uh, we're running at around about 18 below last year at this point in time in terms of fatalities around the state. We want to continue that good work, but certainly innovation and new technology is going to play a tremendous role going forward in continuing to drive the road safety message and also drive the road toll down. Uh, I'll now hand over to Professor Tim Brown, who'll take you through some of the details. Thank you. The project has delivered a specialised level crossing safety system to generate warning messages to drivers, such as advice of an approaching train, advanced indication of a potentially faulty crossing, expected delay at the level crossing, and suggestion of alternate routes. The saving of lives at country road crossings and easing of congestion in the city will be very significant for the community. The system enables communication among vehicles, trains and road vehicles, uh, infrastructure in the vicinity of the crossing and sharing information through dynamic vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communications using dedicated short range communication and GPS technologies. The technology will give 360 degree awareness of situations uh, up to one kilometre. The human to machine interface looks like a sat nav and has been specifically designed to safely communicate messages to drivers. A number of trials have been conducted to date in Victoria with very pleasing results attracting global attention. The findings of these trials will be presented at the Intelligent Transport Systems World Congress in Vienna and at a symposium in London in October.